Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to plan for your piano teaching in Google Sheets for Google Classroom for piano teachers. We'll look at how to add color and design easily to your Google Sheets and how to create teaching segments quickly for your piano lessons. We'll also look at how to merge sections of your plans to save time and stay super organized. And finally, how to repurpose your piano teaching plan in Google Sheets for your Google Classroom as a piano teacher. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hello and welcome into my Google Drive. Um, this is for piano teachers who are looking to plan for your piano teaching in Google Sheets for your Google Classroom. So if you don't know what Google Drive is, simply type in Google Drive, or if you already have uh, your Google Apps, click on the waffle and click on Drive. And then the first thing you'll want to do is click on the new plus sign and we're gonna actually start a brand new Google Sheet. So go down to find Google Sheets and click on a blank spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and give it a title. Uh, let's title this fall quarter, let's say. And we'll put this as piano lessons and we'll put piano lesson plan. So that's we can go ahead and change that later so the first thing that i like to do is i like to sort of give my google sheet a little bit of color now that we have our title in the first thing we'll want to do is add a bit of color and get the google sheet in a way that it's easy for us as piano teachers to go in and quickly see the information go to the little icon that says fill color click on that and i like to do um, alternating colors now that's just me um you don't have to but i think it just makes it easier for you to see the information. Um, all I've done is I've chosen pink, choose any color you like. You can select or deselect header. I like my header a different color as well as my footer. And again, that's just a personal preference. If you want to go in and change the color, you can. If you want it to match your music studio, your piano studio, and if you're planning on sharing this out with um, your students, that's also an option. The next thing that I like to do, so let's close the alternating color. The next thing I like to do is I like to add some borders and we can go and change this later, but for now, uh, let's go to the little borders icon. So click on that. You're going to click the all borders and then you're going to click the border style. And I like to uh, have my border style on the next thickness of line. If you don't like that, you don't have to. But I think because we're gonna be entering quite a bit of information, it just makes it easier when you're starting out. Now, obviously you don't have to keep it this size. So what I do is I'm going to select the little left-hand corner to select everything. And I'm going to drag this the first cell so it makes everything bigger. And again, we can adjust these as we go, but it just makes it that little bit easier to see. So now we have basically everything we need to get started. The only last thing that I like to do is I like to change my font size to about 11 or 12. And then the font that I like is Laura. It is, this is a personal preference. And I'm also gonna name my sheet at the bottom here. So at the very bottom left hand of the corner, you'll see sheet one. And I'm actually going to rename this as um, fall quarter uh, 2022, because here's the beauty of this. You can copy this for spring quarter, winter quarter, spring quarter, summer quarter, or you can name it semester quarter or, or however you plan for your music studio. So now that we have that set, uh, the first thing I like to do is I like to put in a few essential items. The first thing that I'm gonna add is theme, and let's make sure that all everything is aligned. So I like everything centered, so I'm gonna click uh, the centered, and then I'm also going to click uh, middle aligned, so everything is as it should be. Okay, so let's click on um, the second cell and I'm gonna click theme. And I also want everything bold. And again, we can go in and change this later, but just for now, it makes it easier to read. And then the next thing I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to click the name of my theme. So I'm just planning for the first 12 weeks for the quarter. So I'm gonna click in, uh, the first theme is going to be we sing and play. Now I am going to stretch this out. I'm gonna merge this with other cells, but before I do that, I'm going to add in a few other things. So this I'm going to put week, and then uh, underneath that, I'm going to put the different sections within a lesson. This might differ for you. It depends on how you structure your piano lessons, but I think these are pretty common uh, sections of a lesson. So I'm gonna put my first section as technique. The next section I'm going to put in is repertoire. Now under repertoire, I'm actually going to leave uh, four blank because in repertoire I have I teach more than one piece so I'm going to leave one two three four and then I'm going to type in theory 
And then under that, let's see, I want to type in sight reading and ear training. And after that, now let's see, let's make sure these wrap around as well. In fact, let's go in and make sure that everything wraps around. So we're gonna go into text wrapping and put wrap, because sometimes song titles are lower than others. So we wanna make sure that everything fits. And then underneath that, we'll put um, improvisation and composition. All right, and you know, sometimes you can add just more and this is, I don't know, anything extra that you might forget. It's always good to have that as an option. So now we basically have in all of our um, main parts of the lesson. Let me zoom out here just a little bit so you can get a slightly uh, bigger overview. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to type in weeks one through 12. So now that we have all of our weeks in, the first thing I want to do is I want to start um, putting in my themes because now that I have my weeks in, I know how many weeks I want to focus on a particular theme. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on We Sing and Play, and I want this to go through week six. So what I'm going to do is I will drag this to week six, and then I'm going to click Format, and then I'm going to click on Merge Cells, and then I'm going to click on Merge All. And then that takes us through week one and six. The next theme uh, that I'm going to have, and I'm gonna skip this week and we'll come back to this in a second. The next thing I'm theme I'm going to have is Home for the Holidays. And that's going to take us in actually, um, let me add in two more weeks here, week 13 and week 14. Um, so let's go in and I want week seven, through, I would say week seven through 13, or maybe we can make it 14. Um, I'm gonna actually have this another theme. So let's type in home for the holidays. And again, whatever theme works for your studio, type it in. And I'm going to click on week seven through week 14. And then I'm going to go into format again. I'm going to go to Merge Cell and Merge All. So those are my two bigger themes for the fall quarter. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go into week seven. Now, if you noticed here, I left um, a line here blank, and there's a very important reason why. And if you notice now that I have one of the squares that doesn't have, um, that's not outlined, and there's a quick fix for this, just go in and highlight all of your cells, go back to borders, go back to um, the line, and it will fill in. So in week seven, on purpose, I left this blank. And the reason is because I want to add a little bit of information, even though it's still the theme. So I always plan out um, my makeup lessons and what I call an open studio. So it's a time for parents and friends and family to come and see um, what's been happening in the piano studio. So here I'm gonna type open studio and makeup lessons. Okay, so that's during week seven. And then this is going to happen again in week 14. So I'm gonna click uh, command all, command copy, and then I'm gonna click that above week 14. So even though I have my theme set, there's still gonna be um, an option for Open Studio and Makeup Lessons. And Open Studio, um, actually this one is also going to be a recital. So I'm gonna say uh, Open Studio, um, Winter Recital, and Makeup Lessons. So that will all go in there. And you can see it's cut off my word. It's easy to fix. Just click on the three and bring that box down a little bit. So the next thing that I'm going to add is I have my technique set. Now, the way I like to plan out my technique is I don't do a scale, a new scale every week. Um, even though I have all of my um, different components of my lessons, I have them in different uh, layers and levels. So students can you know still be playing the c major scale but according to their own level what they're able to do so an easy way to do this is i'm going to type in um, c major scale 
And I know that we're gonna be working on the C major scale for, work, for weeks one and two. So I'm gonna go into that and I'm going to click Merge Cell. And I know that in week three and four, I'm gonna be working on the G major scale. And then again, I'm gonna merge. So three and four, and then I'm gonna click uh, format and merge. So let me finish the rest of the scales and then we'll jump into the repertoire. Now I have all of my scales done. So I've merged the weeks that we're going to be looking at particular scales. I've also added the reviews under week seven and week 12 and 13. Now I've left week 14 a uh, blank because that is the makeup lesson and that is the week right before winter holidays. So I'm not going to add any scales that week. Now let's jump over to repertoire. Now, if you are in a place where you're not quite sure exactly which pieces you want, one thing that you can do is simply put in placeholders. So let me show you a few quick examples. So under repertoire, I have one, two, three, four options. So let's just say that I'm going to be looking at uh, easy play classical. Now this could be anything, Bach, Beethoven, uh, Mozart, whatever it is, and you can go in and tweak this later. And then the other um, area is going to be, be um, Songs of Liberty, because that's part of We Sing and Play. And then here we might have um, Easy Play Piano. Now this could be popular, this could be um, some activity that you let students choose a song that they all want to practice together. And then finally, I might add something like um, songs for children. And again, this depends on which uh, age group you're teaching, if you teach um, you know, group lessons, whatever. You just need to add in sort of those larger um, repertoire ideas. And then you can go in and change these. So the first thing that I'm going to do, like I did with the repertoire, is I'm going to figure out um, how many weeks we're going to look at classical pieces. So I know that I'm not actually not going to be starting my um, winter music until week eight. So right here, let me just type in uh, one of the pieces I know we're gonna be working on. We're gonna be working on Jingle Bells and we wish you a Merry Christmas. And we're also going to be working on Merry Christmas, Darlene. And the other one is, um, oh yes, Joy to the World. Okay, so I know that I have all of these four pieces. So what I'll do for now, and again, this can change, uh, and you want to keep your um, planning uh, in, your, in your Google Sheets, especially if you're teaching uh, and using Google Classroom as a piano teacher, to give yourself that flexibility. So I'm going to click on Easy Play Classical, and I know that this is actually going to be going through week six. So I'm gonna go back into Format, Merge Cells, Merge All, same with Songs of Liberty, and I'll finish up the rest and I'll show you what the entire repertoire section looks like. Now I have all of my pieces for my repertoire set for an entire quarter. And you'll see here, I'll zoom in for you so you can have a slightly closer look. So you can see here that although I don't have the exact pieces that I'm going to put in, this gives me the flexibility to add in as I go. And this is also a great way to share with your families if they want to know, uh, basically, generally speaking, what is being studied in the piano class. So now I have all 14 weeks. You'll notice here that um, 14 is going to be, week 14 is the open studio, winter recital, and then I will obviously create a separate um, uh, something for that but for the open studio um, I will list the pieces that we're gonna play as well but for right now I have everything basically outlined as I want it to go 
Now for the theory, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to put in the specifics because uh, in another video uh, I'm showing you how to create uh, and organize for your theory, sight reading, improv, and more. So basically all I do is I just go into, um, I'll go back into theory, and I have mine organized in sets and days. So for week one, I call my theory day one. And then for example, I'll have day two. And then week three, I have day uh, three and so forth and so on. And this goes all the way through. So each week has a day. And then the same thing for sight reading and ear training. So this is set one, set two, set three, and so forth. And then same with improvisation. I have the same concept of set one, set two, and set three. So this is pretty self-explanatory um, for theory, sight reading, and ear training. Of course, I give the specifics when I share this in Google Classroom. Now, you can go ahead if you want and follow this sort of general outline, but what this does is this gives you a really quick an easy way for you to see what's happening. And this is also something you can share out with your families. Now, one thing we could do just to um, make it a little bit more fun is we could actually change the color. And that gives it a little bit more of, um, a little bit more of an outline of exactly what we're gonna do. And then if you wanted to, you could uh, label this up here, um, quarter, um, fall, or a quarter one fall. And here's the wonderful thing. You can use this and reuse this year after year. So once you have your weeks in, once you have your um, technique repertoire and all of your different um, subjects, then you can just go in and just change um, the names of the pieces. So you can, uh, then you could name this um, winter quarter and so forth and so on. So this is a really easy way for you to plan out all of your piano teaching in Google Sheets for piano teachers. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. See you in the next lesson.